Welcome, homies. It is your pal, Alan the Homie. It is Thursday, May 18th, 2023. It is a little bit chilly today, 59 degrees. I am here on the Lower East Side of Manhattan on the corner of Delancey and Essex Streets. And we are going to be exploring the Lower East Side of Manhattan today. So let's go have some fun. Here we go. So as I said, I am in the corner of Essex and Delancey. And you could see just ahead of me is the Williamsburg Bridge. The Williamsburg Bridge goes from the Lower East Side of Manhattan to Brooklyn. So why don't we go and have some fun? Now this area used to be occupied by a lot of Jewish businesses. There was a dairy restaurant in this area called Ratner's. And they used to have the best onion rolls at Ratner's. As a matter of fact, I have a friend that her father used to work at Ratner's and he used to bring back the onion rolls. They were absolutely delicious. So I am approaching the foot of the Williamsburg Bridge. I won't be walking over the Williamsburg Bridge because I really don't want to go into Brooklyn at this point. But they do have a walkway. So, we'll go up to the corner. And then we'll make a U-turn and head back up to Lancy Street. So as I said, it's 59 degrees outside. Beautiful sunny day, but there is a cool breeze. Okay, so here is the entrance to the Williamsburg Bridge. And you could see the cars exiting. And you have a lot of independently owned businesses in this area. So we can walk down the side street. So we are now walking on Clinton Street. And you see quite a few independently owned businesses. Thank you. 
I remember as a kid, my parents and my grandfather used to take me down to this area. My grandfather was a cab driver. And I remember I bought my very first suit, a three-piece suit, way back in the early, early 70s. And it was in this area. As a matter of fact, I think it was on Allen Street. Notice, well, <laughs> Notice how I remember the name Allen Street. So I don't see anybody viewing at this point. Hopefully we'll have some viewers. Okay, so now we're walking back in the direction of Delancey. We're gonna head back to Delancey Street. And this building is called the Clement, or the Clementi. Again, a very, very interesting architectural structure. Looks like it was built in 1897. So again, very old. But again, the architecture is absolutely beautiful. Ronnie C. joining us. How you doing, Ronnie? And Agus Kyukyu joining us from Indonesia. How are you today? It's nighttime in Indonesia. I hope your day went well. It's a beautiful day here in Manhattan on the Lower East Side. So we're going to be walking up Delancey Street. I just showed earlier the foot of the Williamsburg Bridge, which goes from the Lower East Side of Manhattan into Brooklyn. Okay, so we are on the corner of Delancey and Suffolk Street. And once again, there is the Williamsburg, Williamsburg Bridge. Cool guy, how you doing? 
Oh, he missed my stream last night? Well, you can always catch it on the replay. Not a problem. I'm glad you're here today. Hope you're doing well. Again, we are on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. And we are going to continue walking up Delancey Street. Copyrighted music in the background. I didn't quite get a chance to hit the mute button, but that's okay. We're walking fast enough that we're able to get by it. So you see that there are plenty of stores and restaurants along Delancey Street. Cool guy saying he was busy yesterday. That's all right, not a problem. You're here right now and that's what counts. And as always, I hope you'll let me know if there are any problems with buffering. And please let me know through the comments or through the direct messaging how you're enjoying my live stream. And cool guy, today we are exploring the Lower East Side of Manhattan. We are walking on Delancey Street. And we started at the foot of the Manhattan side of the Williamsburg Bridge. Cool guy saying it's going good for now. Excellent. Thank you very much. It's another beautiful day here in Manhattan, 59 degrees. A little bit cool for May. But as the weekend approaches, it's going to get warmer. They are expecting rain for Saturday, but a nice day for Sunday. Oh, shit! So, I won't be doing a live stream on Saturday. I really don't like to live stream in the rain. And here is Allen Street. Now, they don't spell it the same way as I spell my name. 
They spell Allen Street A L L E N. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I remember my grandfather and my parents taking me down to this area. I bought my first, my very first suit back in the 1970s. And you're absolutely right, cool guy. It is a beautiful day out, and people do need to enjoy it, absolutely. Lisa, UK girl, first time she's watching, she discovered me through James and Carla. Welcome to my channel, and I thank you very much. James and Carla are dear, dear friends, great people. And of course, sweet boy Hudson as well. So I thank you very much for joining us today. We are on the Lower East Side of Manhattan, walking up Delancey Street. Lisa UK girl saying, yes, James, Carla, and Hudson are lovely. Absolutely. They are sweet, sweet people. And you know what? Hudson is also considered a person because he is so intelligent, so smart. So this is a really great area to explore. Again, the Lower East Side of Manhattan used to be populated by a lot of independently owned Jewish businesses. Candlarawak, how are you today? Hope you're doing well. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at my first milestone of 100 subscribers. I can't wait to get to 100. I'm at 97 right now, possibly 98. I haven't checked, but this morning when I checked, I was at 97. So we're three away. That'll be my first milestone. I'm really excited. And of course, the more people that hit the like button, that'll attract more viewers. Yesterday, I was walking on 42nd Street by Times Square, and I ran into another YouTuber, Sifat. And that was purely by accident. I heard his voice in the background. 
And I recognized it right away. I said, Safat. And I introduced myself. So he promoted me on his channel. And I thank him for that. As I always say, we are one big family. So we all try to help each other out as much as possible. So we are approaching Bowery. And we're gonna make a right turn on Bowery. Lisa UK girl saying yes, she does enjoy watching Sifat also. Excellent. So we are all New Yorkers. So we are on Bowery right now. We're going to make a right turn on Bowery. And we're going to head north on Bowery. Delancey Street runs east and west. And as soon as I reach a thousand subscribers, then I have to wait to see if I'll be accepted into the um, partner program for YouTube. And then once I'm accepted into the partner program, I will be able to accept donations through Super Chat and Super Stickers. Right now, I can only accept uh, donations through Kofi and through PayPal. Good afternoon, Brenda Nelson. And she also found me through James, Carla, and Hudson. I thank you so much and welcome back to the live stream today. Good to see you. So right now we are walking north on Bowery and you could see the beautiful Empire State Building in the background. There it is. So we are currently heading north on Bowery. This is Enoteca Osteria. And this is the Kanji Dim Sum House. City. How you doing? I don't understand why Nightbot did that. That was rude of Nightbot. I do apologize. I'm sorry. I don't know why Nightbot automatically did that. I do apologize. Rude Nightbot. But Brenda, you could type whatever you want. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda's saying that's okay, Alan. <laughs> okay, so we are on Bowery and we are approaching Prince Street.
walking north on Dowry. So I see we've got 13 people in the chat. Excellent. The more the merrier. Yeah, a lot of construction always going on here in Manhattan, that's for sure. The Mitzvah Tank. Chabad Lubavitch. So as I said, the Lower East Side used to be very, very heavily Jewishly populated. Brenda saying, city progress, yep. Always construction going on here in Manhattan and throughout the city. And the next corner that we're approaching is East Housen Street. So, right at this moment, we are in Soho, which is south of uh, Houston. Right now, Brenda, we are on Bowery. B O W E R Y. Not street, not avenue, just Bowery. Yes, Lisa, UK girl, there is a lot of history of music and art, etc. Bowery is also the home of the former CBGB, a club that I had been to many, many times to see friends' bands playing. So this is Houston Street. Heading south on, uh, I'm sorry, heading uh, east on Houston Street will take you on to the FDR Drive. Okay, so we are just waiting for the light to change. Okay. Lisa UK girl saying, I'm so lucky to have actually been inside CBGB. Yeah. It really was a very, very cool place. And very shortly, we should be approaching where the old CBGB was. Ian Milino. Oh, M Melillo, I'm sorry. Welcome back to the channel. Good to see you again. Brenda's saying she's leaving. She has to make dinner. 
but she'll check back from time to time. Well, thank you very much, Brenda. I do appreciate it. I understand you have to do what you got to do. I hope whatever you're making is going to be delicious. I know it. <laughs> Okay, so we are now at the location where CBGB used to be. And I know etched into the cement, should be right around here somewhere. It does say right here, here we go. Check this out. My shadow is in the way. CBGB, 1973. It is now a clothing store. And they sell vintage clothing records. Check out that speaker. some of the old photos. Don't know if you could see them. So this was the original CBGB. Is now John Barbados. So that was CB. CBGB. And Lisa UK girl saying. So fascinating to see that, yes. A lot of history in that place, that's for sure. A lot of bands perform there. Independent bands. Bands that became very famous. Check out this building. Cool architecture. Again, uh, I've been coming across a lot of beautiful architecture for the last four or five days. Friendship Lights, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Take us to the back alley. Let's see, I don't know if we can get in. There really is no way to get into the alley from here because there are buildings. Friendship Light saying, the woo was just there. It's really cool, yes. That's what I love about Manhattan. There's just so much history in all the different parts of Manhattan. Oh, the other side. Okay, you know what? Let's head back in the other direction. Let's see if we can get in. 
to the back alley. I'll do that. And it feels like it's getting warmer out because I could definitely feel the warmth. I may have to check, take my light jacket off. Okay, so again, that black awning is where CBGB used to be. Okay, so that was CBGB. And we'll take a walk on East 1st Street to see if we can get into the alleyway. Yes, the Ramones, absolutely. The Ramones did perform there. Unfortunately, I did not see them. But I went a couple of times to see some independent bands. Okay. So here is the alleyway, and I'm not quite sure where the entrance was for CB. I believe this might have been it. And Blondie also, yes. Okay, what I need to do right now is I need to take my jacket off. Yep, Friendship Light saying, yes, you got it. So you can see the buildings over here. I couldn't enter from East 2nd Street because these buildings are blocking it. Okay, so just give me one second so I could take my jacket off and put it into my backpack. Sorry for the shaking. Yeah, it's getting warm. It was 59 degrees when I got off the train, but with all the walking, it's definitely getting warmer. So give me one second so I can put my jacket into my backpack. I wish there was some place for me to sit, but that's okay. So bear with me, I apologize for the shaking, but I'm doing this with one hand. <laughs> Trying to stuff my jacket into my backpack. So I'll be with you in just one moment, as soon as I finish doing this. Now I should have attached my tripod. Lisa UK girl saying, being in the UK and seeing this is amazing. Thank you for taking us around 
the back Allen and also to Friendship Lights for the suggestion. Yes, I do. Thank you, Friendship Lights. Thank you for the suggestion. And it's my pleasure. That's what it's all about. I like to make people happy. Again, doing this all with one hand is pretty difficult. But I think I got it. Okay. Okay, we're in business. <laughs> Thank you, Friendship Lights. <laughs> Lisa UK girl saying she could stay in that position all day. <laughs> okay, we are back in business. So, this was the back entrance to CBGB. Candle arrow wax saying thank you. My pleasure. Okay, so we are going to continue our walk. Head back onto Delancey Street. So thank you again, everybody, for bearing with me. This is a lot more comfortable now. Hello. Okay, so now I'm just wearing my regular shirt. It's a long sleeve shirt. So this way, if it does get a little bit cooler again, At least it won't be too cold. Okay. So again, we are on our way. Oh, back by the motorcycle is the back entrance. Okay, all right, cool. Thank you again, Friendship Lights. That was definitely a great suggestion. And of course, I'm always open to suggestions. Anybody that has any suggestions, please let me know because I'll be happy to go just about anywhere you want. Again, for those of you that missed it, if you joined a little bit late, the etching in the ground. Again, my shadow is in the way. But there it is, CBGB 73. Okay, so now we are again heading northbound on Bowery. I'm sorry, I, I know I said Delancey Street earlier. I meant to say Bowery. We started on Delancey Street. Friendship Light saying thank you for taking us back there. That was so cool. It really was. And you're very welcome. Okay, so we're heading north on Bowery.
and you could see all of these old tenements built way back in the early 1900s. And you could see how, just how far we've come. Yes, Friendship Lights. As soon as I reach a thousand subscribers, then I have to get accepted into the YouTube Partner Program. I need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of viewing time. I believe that's what it is. I don't know if it's 4,000 hours or just 4,000, whatever it is. But those are the rules for YouTube. But right now, the only donations that I can accept are through Kofi.com and through PayPal. And all of that information is in the bio on uh, the homepage for my YouTube channel, as well as my personal email address. Now, I do have another email address. It's Alan the Homie at yahoo.com oh, so, yeah Alan the homie at yahoo.com so you could send an email to me at either one of the email addresses I do have the gmail one which is listed in the bio but I regretfully forgot to put the Alan the homie at yahoo.com And there are no spaces for Alan the homie. Friendship Light saying, let's do this. Yes, homies, let's do this. Absolutely. Okay, so we're on East 4th Street and Bowery. Why don't we take a walk down East 4th? Let's have a little fun down here. You know, it's, it's always nice to do things that are unexpected. It's a beautiful dog. Whoop. Looks almost like Hudson. <laughs> Different coloring. But it could be the same breed. Let's do this! <laughs> Aromatherapy, Fragrance Shop, New York. Again, folks, we do want to try and support all our local mom and pop businesses. Let's keep them in business. Again, because of the pandemic, a lot of businesses had to close. So please, let's try and support all of our local mom and pop businesses so that they could stay in business.
Wow. Electric guitars and repairs. Rivington guitars. Wow. Fender. Check these out. Look at the ukulele. 70 bucks. Not bad. If I knew how to play, I would buy it. <laughs> Brenda says she's back. Okay, we are still on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. We went to the back of CBGB's. Again, another small independently owned store. Random accessories and gifts. <laughs> HC teacher, welcome to the chat. How you doing? And HC, I welcome you back now as a moderator. Thank you so much for being here. Friendship Light sent a donation to my PayPal. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so so much thank you that is that it's grateful from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for the donation friendship lights sent a nice donation to my paypal account thank you so much i appreciate it Okay, so right now we are on East 4th Street and 2nd Avenue. And again, a lot of beauty. HC teacher saying he is sharing my channel all the time. I thank you so much. <laughs> and I will definitely be reaching my my very first uh, milestone of 100 subscribers, if not already. I will check it later on but right now let's just enjoy what we're doing let's enjoy this beautiful day so again another beautiful day here in Manhattan now when I got off the train it was a bit chilly, but it does, definitely feels like it's warming up. And here's Cooper's Craft and Cocktails. And again, a lot of history in this neighborhood. So HC teacher, I want to thank you again for all that you're doing. And of course, my dear friends, James and Carla, 
and Sweet Boy Hudson. And if you didn't have a chance to tune in yesterday, just by pure coincidence, I met Sifat, who also has a New York walking channel here on YouTube. As I had mentioned earlier in the live stream, all I did was I heard his voice and I knew right away that that was him. So you could check out my meeting with Sifat on yesterday's live stream where I was walking around Times Square. Brendan Nelson saying three more subscribers to reach 100. Yes, yes. I definitely hope I get there today. Let's reach that first milestone. And check out the sign on this old drugstore. Block drugstores. Look at that old neon sign, wow. This is something I know that James and Carla would definitely be into. Nora, sugar coma. She loves my accent. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's the Queen's boy in me. My grandparents were originally from the Bronx. And I did have some family that was from Brooklyn as well. But my Queen's accent is a lot stronger than any other borough. At times, there's a slight, slight Brooklyn accent, very, very slight. Cool guy saying that I have more people on my channel, yes. Well, we've got 13 viewers right now, which is amazing. I'm glad to have anybody here. You're all welcome to be part of this live stream. And this is called the New Yorkers Food Market. And of course, notice how I say New Yorkers. <laughs> Yes, James and Carla would definitely love that sign, Brenda. And I will have to share that with them the next time I see them. Hopefully I'll run into them on another live stream. Nora Sugarcoma watching from Santiago, Chile. Welcome, welcome. Great to have you here from South America. Santiago, Chile. Chile makes the, they have the, they grow the best avocados. Chilean avocados are awesome. So welcome from Chile. I know, I know people that pronounce it chili, but it's not pronounced chili, it's pronounced chile. Unfortunately, my Spanish is a little bit rusty. But I do know how to say, mi español apesta, which means my Spanish stinks. Now, in Chile, do they speak Spanish or Port Portuguese? Nora saying, yes, I pronounce it correctly. Yes, that is the correct pronunciation, Chile. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, 
And here's a restaurant that was established in 1989 called Paul's De Burger Joint. And Nora's saying, yes, they speak Spanish. Cool guy asking if I talk Spanish. Muy poquito. <laughs> Very little. And here is the Poetica Coffee and Espresso Bar. And this burger place looks very nice. I don't see a menu with prices. Oh, wait, here we go. New York City's best burger. It is a little blurry. But their prices are typical prices for New York City. Okay. We shall continue. So right now we are walking on 2nd Avenue on the east side of Manhattan. And we'll continue for another block or so, and then we'll head back to Bowery. And Brendan Nelson saying that that's James and Carl's favorite burger joint. They love it. Well, guess what? I am going to have to go back there and check it out and get myself something to eat over there. But I'm not going to do that right now because I want to continue exploring. We're going to head back to Bowery, so we are going to make a left turn onto East 9th Street and head back to Bowery. And again, thank you, Cool Guy, he's saying that he's enjoying the stream. I do thank you very much and thank you for being here. So, we are going to make a left turn onto East 9th. And across the street, there's a holistic pet care. Wow, check out this old on-air sign. I don't know what that's part of, but it looks very cool. Lisa UK girl saying it's getting late here in the UK, so she has to go for now. Thank you so much for being here, Lisa UK. And Nora Sugarcoma says she has to go cook dinner. I know that your delicious Chilean meal is going to be absolutely fantastico. So this looks like it's a downstairs, maybe it's a pub? I don't know what it is, but it is chained off, it's locked. So we may have to find out what this is next time. May, or maybe it's a, maybe it's a Japanese. I don't know, because that looks like a, a sake container. Okay, see you soon, Lisa UK girl. Thank you so much for joining us today.
so we are now international. The UK. Earlier we had Indonesia. And Chile. Okay, so we are walking back to Bowery. And this is the Cha An Tea House. A little bit pricey. Talk about pricey. It's pretty expensive to park a car here in Manhattan. Oh, cool. NYU students receive 10% off. See, I wish I was a student at NYU. Cool guy saying he already had his early dinner. Tori Bien. Japanese fried chicken and onigiri. Interesting. Armist Bates, what's up, homie? How you doing, Armist? Glad you're here. Welcome, my fellow punk rocker. Well, I'm not a punk rocker. <laughs> but you are my fellow homie. <laughs> Okay, so we are now on the intersection of East 9th and Stuyvesant Street. And Stuyvesant Street is on an angle with East 9th. So Stuyvesant runs one way in that direction. Okay, so Bowery actually ended. It now changes into Third Avenue. HC teacher saying he loves seeing New York City. And he said that there's a nice park there. I believe there's a, a little park right across the street. We'll go to the corner and check it out. Okay, so this is the corner of Bowery and Astor Place, and Astor changes to St. Mark's Place. And I believe James and Carla's book signing is going to be on St. Mark's Place. HC teacher is saying thank you for bringing us the east side and the info. Yes. Mm. 
And please don't forget, if you are in the New York City area in October, I believe it's the first weekend in October, James and Carla will be having their book signing. Yes, the Bagel Cafe and Ray's Pizza. Hand rolled bagels, baked on premises. Guess what? I'll be going in there for a bagel. Excuse me? And this is the old St. Mark's Hotel. Check out the awning. Honest Bait saying, now soul cake. How you doing? How you doing there? This is my song. Fancy Nancy by Zev. And the Brooklyn Shale. Oh, and the Brooklyn Shale. Yeah. The Brooklyn Shale. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, and you'll like this song. It's a happy, fun summer song. Summer awesome. Song. This will be your favorite song for the summer, if not longer, I guarantee it. And is it on uh, a streaming service? or? Do you have Spotify? I certainly do. Now, let me tell you this. If, if you just put in Fancy Nancy. Uh-huh. It'll it'll come up as the number one ca number one in the category. Awesome! And I beat up Disney, which owns seven. They own about ten slots there. Wow! And I started out at something like number seventy down at the bottom. Uh huh. And I my goal was to make it to number one. Wow! All right now now my friend said you will never beat out Walt Disney's marketing team. Huh? They're multi million dollar. Uh huh. Team. Well, guess what happened? You did. Check for yourself. Spotify, I, just put in Fancy Nancy, uh -huh. and it'll be the number one slot. And Disney's below me. Okay. And, it, and, and with all due respect, they're pulling their hair out of their head. <laughs> well, I'm Alan the Homie. I have a live stream on YouTube right now. Okay. And my viewers are all watching. So uh, let me... Okay. I'm going to get in close. So those of you that have your phones, you can scan the QR code. And one of my views is saying congratulations. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. And okay. all your fans, I say enjoy Fancy Nancy. By enjoy Zev Fancy Nancy by Zev and the Brooklyn Shields. It will make your summer bouncy. Excellent. I will certainly listen. Thank okay, you. you too. Okay, have a great day. You how, many, how many people are you going to uh, Right now, I'm almost at 100 people subscribed. I still need a, a lot more. Oh, well, get but there. This will get them, yeah. Thank you. Again, it's, I'm Alan the Homie. It's Alan the Homie, food and fun. I came across the idea that you had a quarter million a, uh, followers. Wow. Wow. Just luck. It's all luck. You know, exactly. Really well, right. I'll get there. All right, Alan the Homie. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. Right. Take care now. Dolly Girl Twins, welcome. Dolly Girl Twins, I see you all the time on James and Carla's channel. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. We are on St. Mark's Place. And again, I believe that St. Mark's Place is where James and Carla are going to be having their book signing in October. So again, those of you that are in the New York City area, the first weekend in October, please come to James and Carla's book signing. I know I am definitely going to be there. Now again, I apologize for Nightbot. I don't know why Nightbot keeps saying that. Oh no. I don't know why Nightbot keeps doing that. They timed her out. Oh man. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to change that. And this place is called Funky Town. 
Won't you take me to Funky Town? And this is a small convenience store. Oh, I hope she comes back too. Oh. I have to figure out why Nightbot is doing that. Oh man, it was so nice to have her here. But I have to figure out why Nightbot was doing that. That's the second person that Nightbot gave that warning to and I don't know why. Oh, HGT is yeah. saying it timed her out for 10 minutes. Okay. I hope she comes back very, very quickly. Because it's a pleasure to have people here from James and Carla's channel. Okay. Mamoon's falafel. Something else I haven't had in quite a long time, falafel. I love falafel. I love all foods. And of course, dollar fifty pizza. It's alive. Okay, dog. Danette and Anthony. Welcome to the channel, Danette. Yeah, cool guy. I know there's music. That's why we're going to try and get away from here as quickly as possible. So that I won't have to... Okay. We're okay now. I hate having to mute it. So we started this live stream at the foot of the Williamsburg Bridge in Manhattan on the Lower East Side. We walked up Delancey Street to Bowery and then we made a right turn on Bowery and we started walking north on Bowery. We stopped in front of the old CBGB's and Bowery at East 9th Street changes to 3rd Avenue. So now we are on St. Mark's Place and 2nd Avenue. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk back up St. Mark's Place. And Danette saying at this point I wouldn't worry about claims. So we've got 14 viewers so far. Excellent. That makes me very happy. I remember when I started my very first live stream, I only had like one or two viewers. But hey, it's better than none. Armist Bay saying he missed CBGBs. Yeah, I, I'm sorry about that. But again, you could always check it out in the replay. Okay, so we're heading back to where Bowery ends and becomes 3rd Avenue. Again, some copyrighted music in the background, so let's try and get by here as quickly as possible.
Oh, okay. Jeanette and Anthony saying, the only time to worry about music is when you get close to a thousand, so be more careful. Okay. Brenda's asking, what happened to Dolly Girl Twins? I don't know. Nightbot, for some reason, they timed her out for 10 minutes, and I really, really hope that she comes back. I have to figure out why Nightbot is doing that. I may have to stop Nightbot. Now, the only reason why I use the Nightbot is just because it periodically says how you can make donations. <laughs> HC saying... The bad man Nightbot put her in the timeout corner. I really hope she comes back. I would hate to lose her. I do want to apologize to her if she comes back. Okay, so this is St. Mark's Place and the end of Bowery, which changes to 3rd Avenue and Cooper Square, also part of Cooper Union. Yes, absolutely. If you go to my About section on the channel, you could find information. So do, yes, I do thank you very much, HC. Thank you. So yeah, check out my About. Friendship Lights asking if I've ever been to the White Horse Tavern. No, but I do remember James and Carla mentioning it. And I definitely would like to go there. And I believe that they even took photos in their book. In their book about the uh, great bars. But I will definitely be at James and Carla's book signing in October. Okay, so this is Cooper Square and Astor Place. Danette and Anthony saying we will all see you then. Excellent. I look forward to meeting you. And thank you, HC, for posting the PayPal information. Thank you so much. Great Friends is all about. Thank you, HC. I do appreciate it. And I thank you, Danette and Anthony. It does look like a very stable stream. Thank you. I know yesterday I ran into some, um, some problems when I was in Times Square where there was some buffering but everybody's saying it looks good so far so thumbs up for that okay and we're gonna cross here as soon as I have the light
and just <laughs> just as she said that, I hit a slight dead spot. See? It always happens that way, doesn't it? And let's check out this camper. What is this? I love this sign. And yes, uh, Ian Malillo saying that's where Lafayette Street starts from 4th Avenue. Right. This is Lafayette right here. Awesome. And check out the old subway sign that says entrance. To then Anthony saying, I feel like I've seen that camper before. You might have. Okay, so this is the Astor Place station for the number six train. And you can see a couple of buses that are parked here. Okay, so we're going to continue walking. Ah, a focaccia guru. <laughs> Brenda Nelson saying I could go for a mocha latte. Yeah, I think I could go for one of those too, but not right now. Don't be depresso. Drink Madman Espresso. <laughs> I love it. I love the sign. Ian Malolo saying his favorite subway line, subway line the number six. Number six runs up Lexington. I am thoroughly enjoying this walk today. I hope you guys are as well. Another beautiful day here in Manhattan. Now, this in front of me is going to be the future site of Wegmans Supermarket. I don't know if it's open yet. No, I don't think it's open because it's still still boarded up. So this is the future site of Wegmans Supermarket. <laughs> Armist Bay saying that's that's my hometown. Oh, Wegmans is from his hometown. 
Dolly Girl is back. Thank you so much for being back, Dolly Girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to apologize to you for, uh, on behalf of Nightbot. I don't know why it did that. Again, my humble, humble apologies. Thank you so much for coming back, Dolly Girl Twins. I really appreciate you being here. I know I'm a big fan of seeing you on James and Carla's channel. I hope that you're going to be here as well for James and Carla's book signing. Because I know I will. So I really hope to meet you. Okay, thank you so much. And again, my humble apologies on behalf of Nightbot. Thank you so much for coming back. Brenda Nelson saying she loves Wegmans. She has one about eight miles from where she lives in New Jersey. And it is currently 58 degrees here in Manhattan. Thank you very much for that update. When I started, it was 59. And now I can buy white hot dogs. Oh, okay. I remember you told me about that. When I was walking, when I did that long walk along the Hudson River, you told me about the white hot dogs. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to check that out. Thank you again, Armist. So again, I'm gonna have to see why Nightbot did that. And I'm going to have to fix that because I don't want that to happen again. I don't want to lose viewers or certainly I don't want to lose subscribers. So Dolly Girl Twins, welcome back. Big fan of yours. You always do so well with the trivia contests on James and Carla's channel. Okay, okay. Low tolerance settings. So I have to fix that. Well, as soon as I get home, I'll go into the Nightbot settings on my laptop and I will reset that. Or maybe I, there's a way that I could shut it off. Dolly Go Twins, thank you so much for coming back. So again, we are on the Lower East Side of Manhattan on the corner of 4th Avenue. And that over there is St. Mark's Place and Astor Place. on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Already over an hour and a half into the live stream. Time is going by quickly. And you know why? Because we're having fun. That's what it's all about. It's about food and fun. And I know that we are certainly having a lot of fun. So I want to thank everybody here. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. Okay, Danette saying, as soon as I get more mods, like wonderful HC, I won't need Nightbot to do that much stuff. Well, I'm definitely going to make more people mods. And this way I won't have to worry about Nightbot. Cool guy, it's always a pleasure and it's a pleasure having all of you. I thank you so much for joining me today on this live stream. It's a pleasure having all of you here. Armus Bates saying he does have fun hanging out with me. We're all hanging out together. And if you were all here in New York, we'd all be hanging out 
going out for a drink, some dinner. So I'd love to have all of you here. It is absolutely my pleasure. Thank you so much. Okay, so we are now approaching the corner of Broadway and East 9th. And look at this beautiful church right in front of me. Thank you, Danette and Anthony. Thank you so much for joining me today. Dolly Girl Twins subscribed. Excellent. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Again, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I can't wait. Can't wait to meet all of you. So look at this beautiful church coming up. Look at this. When I tell you that we have got some fascinating architecture here in Manhattan, I ain't kidding. <laughs> and HC saying, woohoo, we are trying to get to 100. He thinks that I'll have it when I get home. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm keeping my thumb up. Hopefully, hopefully we will have the 100 subscribers. Okay, so this is the Grace Church. Okay, this is the Grace Church here on the corner of Broadway and East 10th. Now, here in Manhattan, the closer you get to the Lower East Side, the avenues get closer together. That's why we were able to get from 4th Avenue to Broadway very, very quickly. However, as you go further uptown, the avenues get further and further apart. Now, the streets are all the same distance apart. Each street is one twentieth of a mile from each other. So for every 20 New York City streets, that is one mile. So from East 10th to East 11th, that's one twentieth of a mile. Okay, so this is the Grace Church of New York. And that is their schedule of services. And this church is huge. HC saying, New York City is all about walking, so much to see and always changing. Absolutely, always. Oh. Halloween adventure. A little bit early to be thinking about Halloween. Summer isn't even here yet. <laughs> 
And then across the street there is Metropolis Vintage Clothing. And in another few blocks we will be at Union Square. So we'll walk up to 14th. And HC teacher just said that I have reached 100 subscribers. Woohoo! 100! My very first milestone. That makes me so happy. Wow. I want to thank all of you. Wow. That is awesome. Thank you so, so much. I am so happy right now. I'm smiling from ear to ear. Woo! That really makes me feel good. Thank you so much, wow. That is awesome. Armist saying congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool guy, thank you. And it's because of all of you that this has happened. Thank you so much, everybody. You don't know how happy this is making me right now. Wow. Dolly Girl Twin saying fantastic. You are all awesome. And yes, Ian Malillo, I am right above the NQR and W trains. Yes, I am. We're approaching the 14th Street Station. Strand Bookstore. And we are one block away from Union Square. Danette and Anthony, see you next time. Yes, definitely, definitely. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you. And I'm so glad that you were participating in the live stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. HC teacher, we are the first class of Alan Naomi. Yes, you are. You are my freshman students. <laughs> my freshman class. And the next time James and Carla do their live stream, I will have to let them know that I reached that first milestone of 100. They're gonna be really happy. Okay, so we are now at Union Square. The corner of Broadway and East 14th Street. Brendan Nelson saying congratulations, thank you so much. Armist Bay saying he's up to 13 subscribers and that's great. Hey, I remember when I was at two. <laughs> and that was, that was only two months ago. So look at that, after two months, I'm already at 100. Let's hope that by the new year, by 2024, I'll be at 1,000.
Okay, so this is the 14th Street subway station for the NQ R&W 456 and the L train. Armus Bates, if you could let HC Teacher know what the name of your channel is so that he could post it. We want to help you out as much as possible. Okay, so here we are at Union Square. And HC teacher saying that he shares on other channels as well. So yes, if you can give him that information, he will definitely share your channel so that other viewers can also subscribe to your channel. And people relaxing, just enjoying the beautiful weather. Dolly Girl Twins, keep walking and talking and you will hit 2,000. Oh, I can't wait. Because once, once YouTube Partner Program accepts me, I'll be able to start accepting Super Chats and Super Stickers. And people relaxing, taking in the beautiful weather. Here in Union Square. It's a beautiful Thursday afternoon. The weekend is just upon us. HC saying we love to share and subscribe, so let's do it. And there you go, Armist has provided the information for his channel. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Armist's channel. So we are just about approaching, we are at one hour and 50 minutes, so we're just shy of two hours. And I have a feeling that I am going to have to charge my phone battery in just a little while. Luckily I have the battery pack. Okay, not many vendors here today. Usually they come out on the weekends. Unfortunately, this Saturday they are expecting rain, but Sunday it's gonna be nice. So I won't do a live stream on Saturday. However, I will do one on Sunday. Where I'll be? That's a good question. I do not know. It's always gonna be a surprise. I have a couple of general ideas of where I'll be, but I'm not going to tell you. Armist Bay saying, Great Street. Thank you so much.
And you know what? And that was also okay, so this is University Place. The reason why it's called University Place is because we are in the vicinity of NYU. And NYU just held their graduation ceremony. That was, I believe, last week. So NYU is off for a summer vacation. And cool guy, if you could provide your channel name so that HC can post it. We have certainly covered quite a bit of ground today. Dolly Girl Twins, she'll be at NYU 2024 Law. Awesome, awesome. That is so cool. Wow, thank you, HC. 100 subscribers. I reached my first milestone. You, I'm telling you, I am so happy. And it's all thanks to you guys. HC, thank you so much. And of course, James and Carla, I, I, I can't thank them enough. And I have to stop off at the supermarket maybe tomorrow to pick up a kosher chicken so I can make Carla a kosher chicken soup, a homemade chicken soup. Now, why do I use a kosher chicken? I think kosher chickens make the soup taste better for some reason. All my life, I've always used a kosher chicken to make a chicken soup, so I am definitely going to make that soup for Carla as I have promised her. Okay, so we are on the corner of University Place in East 13th Street. And this is all part of NYU territory. Just a beautiful, beautiful day here. Dolly Girl Twin saying HC teacher is also a great cook. I don't really cook that much, but my chicken soup has been known to be fabuloso. <laughs> So, like I said, I did promise Carla the homemade chicken soup. And I do have to bring Hudson his birthday gifts. Okay, so, my battery is saying that I'm down to 23%. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the stream in just a minute or so. But I do want to thank everybody for joining the live stream today. Thank you so much to everybody who has made this possible to reach my first 100 subscribers. I really appreciate this so much. You, you don't know how much this means to me. But I'm going to be here, now, you know, I'm still going to be here for another minute or so because I don't want to drain too much of the battery down because I am going to go back to Union Square and sit down and charge the battery. What I need to do is buy a battery pack that you just plug into the phone directly rather than have a wire because the battery pack that I have is very heavy and what will happen is if I plug it in, it's going to weigh the phone down and that will cause the phone to turn while it's attached to the gimbal. So that's why I'm going to charge the phone while I'm sitting down. Okay guys, but you're, you, you have all the information for everybody else's channels, so please subscribe to their channels. And I know that I've already subscribed to the channels uh, that have been posted. And Brenda Nelson saying Hudson received so many birthday gifts. And she can't wait to see what I got him. Oh, he's going to love what I got him. Oh, I'm so sorry. If I had them on me right now, I would show you. Okay, but I am going to be back. I promise you I am going to be back. There will be a part two today's um, live stream. So there will be a part two. But for now, I do want to say that this live stream is just about over and done. Make your life sweeter with food and fun. And if you're ever in need of anything to do, just join the homie and I will be there for you. Thank you so much, everybody, how sweet it is. It's been a wonderful, wonderful day, a wonderful live stream. I will be back in a little while, maybe about an hour, okay, so that I can charge the phone up, get a nice charge, and we will be back for a part two. So I hope you're going to be here. If not, thank you for joining me, and we will see you again on the next live stream. Mwah, mwah. Kisses to all of you. Thank you so much. 100 subscribers. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you again in about an hour. Okay, I'm going to charge the phone. We'll see you soon. Bye.